Hi, I'm Dr. Terry Simpson, and we're going to talk about the Mediterranean diet. I mean, what's not to love about a diet that has olive oil and red wine and cheese and fish? It's not a real diet. It was invented. In fact, what we call the Mediterranean diet was kind of invented in Massachusetts in the 70s. It was based on some work that was done by a researcher, Ansel Keys, in the 50s and 40s. It's not a Mediterranean diet, because think about it, the people in Sardinia didn't eat the same thing the people in Rome ate, and they didn't eat the same things that the people in the Moroccans ate, or Greece. They all ate different things. There was no uniform Mediterranean diet. It's a made-up diet, but there are some good parts to it. And the good parts to it is this, it gets people away from a lot of that processed food. No McDonald's in this diet, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, and of course, there's wine, right? You want this, don't you? Well, but if you're on the Mediterranean diet, let's not go so fast because it's also a restrictive diet. Do you know how much wine you're allowed? A five ounce pour. This is five ounces. So when it comes to the diet, it's a lot more restrictive. So when you have a 1500 calorie a day diet, may be based on good things, but there is not much to 1500 calories. And think about it, you hear about the Mediterranean diet being great for heart disease and dementia and all of those things, but the data just isn't that good or clear. In fact, it's not a low fat diet. People are drinking about a liter of olive oil a week. That's a lot of olive oil and I don't know what it does to you, but I know what it does to me. So when it comes to the Mediterranean diet, it's pretty good. It's pretty healthy. A diet based on fruits and vegetables and fish Yes, but you got to understand, you're going to have to put away the Big Macs, which is good, but you're not going to be eating that much. And you know, there is that five ounces of wine every couple of days and it's Friday, isn't it?